got a little forward radio here. Can't get in here without messing everything up. And we're gonna do a lot of this with no volume. And we're basically gonna show the owner how to operate it. Right now you're on five. And we want to set the preset, all you do is pull it out. Now you can change it back and forth. All right, let's go to M, that's the fast one. It goes back in, pull it out, and you set the preset on it. Same thing all the way through. Toner, which is back and forth here. Right now we're gonna go to USB so there's music I can actually play. And that way I can show you a few more things. Oh, we got a USB plugged into it. It's got AM FM stereo auxiliary in. Bluetooth smart. USB port. It's one of the new ones, it's fully loaded. New chrome. Redone the case on it. Alright, go to that window list to a little up now. We're on USB. I plus I O. <laughs> now if I pull it out here and rotate it, I can change song. Go up, go back. But you'll have a push button for that. Or you can actually do it with the wonder bar. Go back, go forward. You can do it either way. Plus I O. All right, now you got built-in toner, built-in fader, crossover, and EQ. So we're gonna take the uh, toner knob, let's go, go, go in the fader. One, two. Now I can fade from the fronts, back to the rears, fronts. All right, a little popping noise. Set it. All right, that little popping noise you're hearing is telling you you're exactly from front to rear. You're balanced out. Balance just the opposite direction. One, two. Balance adjust. Right side, left side. Set it. Balance set. All right, we're back on treble and bass. That was pretty cool. Uh, AM FM stereo auxiliary in, plug an auxiliary in cord into it, turn it on, hit play, it'll automatically change over to you. Now you know how to set your presets up, rotate everything around. What we're going to do is we're going to actually pair the phone up, and this is the new smartphone, so we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to, after you download the uh, app from Apple, you're going to go to it. And we're going we're gonna to cancel that because I've already got, going to select the radio. We're going to put it in pairing mode. One, two. Bluetooth ready to pair. Select the radio. It's going to show up. Hit add, searching for radio. Showed up, tap on it. Now she's looking for it. Smart pairing completed. Now we're, we're, now we're paired up. Connected. So what we're going to do is go, before we go into anything, we're going to go back. Bluetooth smart disconnected. We're gonna go back and pair our phone up. It's gonna show up, there it is. Tap on it. Pairing completed. Hit allow. Bluetooth connected. Alright. Now you're set up. We're gonna go back to here. It's gonna connect back up. Bluetooth smart connected. Now, if you don't want her to say anything, just say so. You've got a deal down here on the bottom end that you can actually change to what she says. You can have it where she announces it every time you go to it or when you turn the radio on or not. Turn the limits on. Now we adjust fader here, front, rears. Balance. Back and forth. Loudness, we got an EQ and crossover right here. We're going to turn the loudness. Let's go to that. Let's go to EQ on. Subwoofer. 
We can go Music to treble. Licensing Mids. Bass. We can set our loudness up to where we want to go for. Now what I'm going to talk about here is do not announce. I'm going to hit that. Now every time you log off of it, she don't announce it, which is pretty cool. A lot of people want it, a lot of people don't. Go back to it, all you got to do is tap on it. It'll connect up. Music licensing. There it is, so you can make your changes. Try and find some music I can play. Basically, you can tell it to do anything. You look up my apps, call home, whatever you want to do. You got a microphone, a little push button that comes with it. Because there's no place to actually put a mic in the front of this one. And that's basically how it works. So, we'll play just a little bit of music. The push button will do that for you or rotate your uh, tuner can change your songs. Here we go. All right, we got that going. I hear my subwoofer kind of going kind of crazy. It's designed so you don't have this in your hands. You can go through the microphone, tell us to do anything you want to do, just like your normal cars. What I like about these, it does not require 12 volt consistence. So if you pull the battery or plug it back up, it goes right back to doing what you had doing, which is pretty neat. Evidently, my song is over. Back on uh, USB. Uh, you can summon your phone up by going up twice on the volume. Or you can actually work your, uh, let's go back to radio by going down twice without turning it off. One, two, put that in pause, which is USB. And now it's going to blink a couple times and go back to radio. Now we're back on radio. Uh, so originally it's a, it's a Ford. Uh, they put these in uh, 42s through 48s. Uh, they did vary up a little bit different, but this is the original one. And there's the original knobs. The 42s had a little bit different knobs on it. Uh, hopefully this will help you. Uh, you got four speakers. You can run one through four. You got a pre-out. You nab the sub. And uh, even put a foot switch on it, which is wired up if you want a foot switch. I appreciate it. Thank you.